Been a recurring character since 2014, and now Gerald McCraney is an NCIS regular this season. Okay, here's a look at this week's episode when a clash with a well-connected uh -oh. arms dealer leads the team to a well-connected colonel and friend. What do you got? ATF believes that Meyer was about to sell those weapons to this man, former U.S. Army General Richard Collins. We need to proceed with caution. General Collins is incredibly powerful and politically well-connected. It can mean both of our careers if we misstep on this. Understood. Ooh, oh. We are lucky to be joined by Gerald McCready, who plays Admiral Kilbridge. And you could cut the tension with a knife in that scene, yeah, right? Pretty good. It definitely is a, a show that people have definitely become attached to. And we are mm -hmm. happy to be seeing more of you this season. So we want to ask you, what's, what's been the best part about being part of this franchise and in your role? My fellow actors, more than anything else, I've just had a ball working with these people. And the writing is exceptional, and they've given the Admiral some of the best lines I've ever had in my life. So I'm just having a ball doing this show. Oh, the writing is amazing. You do play a retired Admiral, but you've also done a lot to support the military throughout your entire career. Tell us why that is so important to you, because you're not a vet, right? No, I'm not. I've never been in the military. I've said before the closest I ever came was ROTC in college, and I don't think that counts. Um, but I have a um, lot of friends who were in the military, a lot of family who were military, some of them career military. And back in the 70s, I thought a rather negative uh, stereotype was being portrayed on television having to do with military people and veterans. And when it came my turn to have a voice in all of this on television. Um, I decided to take the opportunity to say some positive things about military people. Mm. That's all. I love that. You yeah. know, you're doing doing some good through your acting and through the writing on this show. Uh, do you find that the the people watching take notice of that? Do you think that there will be a genuine connection there in terms of you know military people who have a connection to that watching this? I, I think. There has been through the years, and I think television has sort of changed its um, approach to dealing with military people and military um, um, operations, things like that. And um, yeah, I think it has had an effect and will continue to have an effect. And I'm not suggesting that everything should be pro-military, all gung-ho and everything. But just look at things the way they truly are and criticize the things that need criticizing and uh, give credit where it's due. Mm. And you mentioned that you love working with your co-workers. What <laughs> is it like to work with LL Cool J and Chris O'Donnell, some big names there? I, I love working with these guys, not because of their big names, but <clears throat> because of their small egos, I mm. think. Uh, you know, the, we don't have prima donnas on this show. And uh, I was very grateful when I realized that. And again, I started doing a recurring character. I started 2014, I think it was, on this show. Wow. And even way back then, I thought, God, it would be great to work on this show as a regular. And now I'm getting a chance to do that. Well, you're doing a great job. Yes, we you are. appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. NCIS Los Angeles is part of your Sunday night lineup along with the Equalizer and the SWAT team. And of course, stick around for KCTV 5 News at 10. So also many people love him on This Is Us. Yes, so good. So many people are loving this show as well.